One of my favorite things about the Bible and about reading the Bible is how I can read it so many times, but once in a while, as I'm reading it, God will show me a new layer and a new level of meaning to something. And like, like in Matthew chapter 24, I was reading that rather recently. And I'm reading in there, and it's a time when Jesus is talking about when he comes back and how it's going to be sudden and quick, and nobody's going to know when it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. And in verses 40 and 41 of Matthew 24, he, he gives this illustration. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. People are working side by side, and one is taken because they belong to God, and one is left. And then the next verse, verse 42, says, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day that your Lord will come. And my first response to that, and it's an accurate response, is my job is to be always ready for Jesus to come back. My job is to always be working, to always be occupied, to always be prepared for the Lord's return, or however that shakes out. But recently I thought about another layer to it. Because if I'm really honest, that's a pretty selfish layer. If all I'm concerned about is me being ready for God to come back, I'm not sure I'm getting all the layers and depth I need in this. Because not only should I be caring about what happens to me when Jesus comes back, I need to be caring about the person who is standing next to me, the person who works with me, the person who is my neighbor, who's my family member, who's my friend, the person who works out next to me. Because I want it to be so that if one is taken, the other's not left. I mean, I want to be living in such a way that I am drawing people to Jesus. And so part of my being ready is not just me being ready. Part of my being always alert is not just me being alert. It's me working to make sure the people that I know and love and have contact with, that they are ready, that they are on alert, and that when Jesus comes, in my case, hopefully, it's not going to be a case of me taken and my friend left, but me and my friend being taken to the presence of God. And that's today's jump start.